Hey everybody, welcome to Beaming Notes and today we're going to look at the summary of the poem Desiderata by Max Ehrman. Summary stanza 1. Go placidly amid the noise and haste and remember what peace there may be in silence. As far as possible without surrender, be on good terms with all persons. Speak your truth quietly and clearly and listen to others. Even the dull and the ignorant, they too have their story. The poem opens with a note of serenity and tranquility. In a world that is loud and chaotic, the poet advises people to go placidly. He reminds the readers that there is peace in silence. The poet asks us to remember the coolness and composure that is offered by silence. The poet speaks of being on good terms with all persons. He tries to inspire and motivate his readers with his words of wisdom. He is aware of the cruel traps of the world and hence says that we must be nice to others as far as possible without surrender. In very prosaic tone, the poet advises his readers to speak the truth. Here, truth may refer to the feelings, emotions, beliefs, thoughts, ideas and experiences of an individual that is to be spoken quietly and clearly. In other words, we should always be clear about our thoughts and perceptions. But in the same time, we must not try to impose our opinions on others. The poet also suggests people to listen to others and pay attention to what they have to say. One has to be a good listener if one wishes to be heard. The poet points out that even those people who seem dull and ignorant have their own stock of stories to share. We must learn to pay equal attention to every individual. Summary stanza 2 Avoid loud and aggressive persons. They are vexations to the spirit. If you compare yourself with others, you may become vain and bitter. For always there will be greater and lesser persons than yourself. Enjoy your achievements as well as your plans. In the second stanza too, the poet emphasizes on keeping calm. The poet believes that loud and aggressive people are capable of disturbing one's sense of being and thus advises people to stay away from them. According to the poet, the people possessing loud and aggressive attributes might create a negative environment around us that would hamper our state of being and irritate our mind and soul. In other words, he advises us to keep good company that won't disturb your mental peace. The poet also asks people not to compare themselves with others and be content with who you are. There will always be people who are better than us in some aspect and people who are worse than us. It is illogical and unfair to compare yourself with others to know your worth. The poet asks us to enjoy and celebrate our achievement but also look forward to the future and not deviate from our ultimate goals and plans ahead. Summary stanza 3 Keep interested in your own career, however humble. It is a real possession in the changing fortunes of time. Exercise caution in your business affairs, for the worlds are full of trickery. But let this not blind you to what virtue there is. Many persons strive for high ideals, and everywhere life is full of heroism. The poet advises to focus on your career no matter how humble it is. No matter what profession you opt for, it is important that you stay dedicated and determined and find joy in it. We must remain careful, for the world is full of evil people who wish to manipulate and deceive others in order to get ahead of them. He warns the readers not to get tricked in business affairs in a world that is full of tricksters. However, it is not all evil in the world. We must not overlook the beauty and virtues in the world. The poet motivates us to live in a meaningful life without being tricked and without ignoring the goodness in the world. There are people with heroic temperament, morals and ethics who can make this world a better place to live in. Summary stanza 4 Be yourself, especially, do not feign affection. 
neither be cynical about love. For in the face of all aridity and disenchantment, it is as perennial as the grass. Here the poet asks us to embrace ourselves for who we are. He asks us to avoid pretensions and not fake love and affection and neither be cynical about it. Feelings and emotions of an individual are sensitive and fragile and one must not mock them. Even amidst all the miserable, hopeless and stressful conditions in life, love is like the perennial grass. The use of the grass simile is interesting here. What the poet means to express by this is that, just like glass, love grows on its own, unconditionally and selflessly. Summary Stanza 5 Nurture strength of spirit to shield you in sudden misfortune, but do not distress yourself with dark imaginings. Many fears are born of fatigue and loneliness. Beyond a wholesome discipline, be gentle with yourself. In this stanza, the poet presents age as a vital factor in our lives. We learn from our past experiences. Age gives us wisdom and a certain authority to figure out what's right and what's wrong. Youth is often associated with immaturity, passion, impulse, restlessness and foolishness. The poet asks us not to cling to the memories of the past and learn from the counsel of the years. The use of the words kindly and gracefully suggests how men become wiser with age. The strength of spirit is the strength of our mind and soul. It is an inner feeling of powerful emotions that help us to overcome any problems that come our way. The poet asks us to nurture this strength and use it for our success. The poet asks us to stay positive and not be distressed by thoughts that induces fear and anxiety. He further adds that these fears are the result of fatigue and loneliness. When we are isolated from the world, we often feel disturbed at the thought of loneliness and solitude. The poet advises us to have a certain standard of morals and ethics and a proper code of conduct. He asks us to discipline ourselves and love our own self. If we are unable to love and appreciate our own self, then we won't succeed in doing the same for others and hence we can't accept others to respect us at all. So, he asks us not to be too hard on ourselves and forgive ourselves for the mistakes we have committed and eventually learn from them. Summary Stanza 6 You are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. You have a right to be here. And whether or not it is clear to you, no doubt the universe is unfolding as it should. This stanza opens with a philosophical note. The poet reminds us that we are a part of the universe. We are as much part of the universe as the stars and the trees are. We all together make the universe what it is. Our existence has a deeper meaning and we have every right to be on earth. This assertive tone in this particular stanza adds to a lot of positivity and encouragement for the people in the poem. He tries to establish the idea that everything in this world happens for a reason. The universe has its own plan and it unravels its mysteries according to that plan. We are not supposed to be equipped with the necessary skills to understand everything that goes around us. The universe is too powerful and mysterious to be fathomed or controlled. Summary Stanza 7 Therefore, be at peace with God, whatever you conceive Him to be, and whatever your labors and aspirations. In the noisy confusion of life, keep peace with your soul. The poet asks us to be at peace with God. It is about putting our faith in the right place that gives us a ray of hope and inspiration. The poet appeals to a broader audience by not categorizing God into different religions. Everybody's conception of God can be different, but no matter how they conceive God to be, he is always there to look after his children. Amidst the chaos of confusions, aspirations, hard work, success and failures, one must not forget to maintain peace within their mind and soul. Staying true to your heart and maintain peace and harmony within yourself is a pivotal step in achieving inner peace. Summary Stanza 8 with all its sham, drudgery and broken dreams, it is still a beautiful world. Be cheerful, strive to be happy.
The poet looks at the positive aspect of this otherwise cruel and evil world. He says that amidst all the pretensions, monotony, drudgery, hypocrisy and unfulfilled dreams, there is still beauty in this world. As they say, beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. It is all on us to try and focus on the good things in life. The poet believes that no matter what comes their way, one must learn to remain cheerful and happy and look ahead for the brighter and better aspects of life. Central Idea Max Ehrman in his motivational poem Desiderata attempts to offer a positive outlook towards life. The world is often seen to be full of chaos, fraud, hypocrisy, loneliness, misery and drabness. Through this poem, Max Ehrman tries to inspire people to change their perception of the world as a cruel place and appreciate the beauty of it. He advises his readers to follow certain guidelines that would help them to lead a happy and fruitful life ahead. He asks them to believe in themselves and be content with the kind of person they are. It is crucial to maintain peace with oneself and remain cheerful under adverse circumstances as well. Desiderata offers a simple set of values, ethics and morals which are capable of making life much happier, peaceful and meaningful.